really, really excited. I flew into Norway three days ago, come to see my beloved for six weeks. The day I arrived, I got a phone call from Benny Buelli. He said he's down in Denmark with a couple of prototypes he wants to test out. The forecast was looking really good, so I pretty much dropped everything, scrambled a car off a good friend of mine, Victor, thanks legend, and booked a ferry. So three days after flying into Norway, I'm in Denmark. I got the ferry late last night, drove down near Locken. I met Benny, Benny Buelli and Benny Carlin at Toftum at 9 o'clock. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm just going to go check out this spot. I've always wanted to fly. Ruberg Fear. I've got about 45 minutes an hour before I have to leave. Go out for a quick hoon around. I'll shoot off to meet the boys. I think we might be on here. Deep time. Check this out. Is. I really didn't think it was going to be like that. There's so much sand. This might be the place to be today. It'll be hard for me to leave here, I think. <laughs> Session. Really cool sight. I think it'd be pretty good on its day, but when it's cross like that, the contour of the ridge is pretty wild with those those big fins that run top to bottom and kicking off heaps of rotor. Playing up the top on the flat section would be doable. You'd need a bigger wing, maybe like the 18. So I'd be too lifty out the front and then just right on the flat section up the top. But even then, like it's quite steep. I think the rotor up there would be pretty gnarly. Which is kind of good though, that it wasn't amazing because I'm on time to get to Toftum for 9, 9.30. Toftum is a pretty unique little site for Denmark. It's at the end of a fjord, Danish fjord, not a Norwegian fjord. But the wind sort of venturies through there and gets pushed onto this ridge that starts on the eastern side at a metre, two metres and maybe four or five k's. It rises up to like 50, 60 metres. It holds a lot of wind strengths and directions too because the fjord kind of skews the wind and just pushes it straight onto the ridge. It's about a two and a half hour drive, seven o'clock. We'll be able to get a coffee soon, something to eat. We'll get down there.
Okay, so it's day one and I'm walking into site number three. I'll just backtrack a little bit because there's a bit going on at the last site, topped them. Um, I was a bit, uh, bit starstruck when I walked in there. There's a heap of crew hanging out, flying. I didn't really feel much. I ended up flying there for about four hours. It's pretty good. It started off about just under 20 knots and picked up to just under 30. Sick little session. It's really cool to see what Benny's working on. Him and Benny. Benny and Benny. I can't really say too much about it, but I'll be out towards the end of the year. I think it's going to change, change a few things for a lot of people. It's really cool. So we packed up at Tofton, drove about an hour south, just north of Bittersunder, still a stretch of sand dunes. just under 20 knots. It'd be real nice to have a session on some dunes. Sand dunes, baby. Get me on some sand. Absolute filth. Look at this. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Benny's got a moustache 26 here. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm pretty excited to see how this flies. Thank you. That's a big moustache. Crazy. 
how fun that is for a 26. If I want one, you'd fly every single day. Maybe I shouldn't get one. We're gonna go for a hoon with the 18s now. Yeah, a bit far. <laughs> Six, quarter to ten, and the sun's still up. It's really hard to get enough sleep in this northern part of the world. So I'm hanging out with my new friend Killian. We met on Instagram maybe six months ago. He lives in Vinasunde, just down the road. He's a kite instructor, and he's been paragliding for a little bit. He's had a couple of goes on the moustache, so I've given him mine for a bit, and he's absolutely frothy. <laughs> I'm getting real hungry. I think he wants to fly until it's dark. On day two, um, it's nine o'clock. I had a sleep in, which I'm really happy with. It's hard to get any sleep here when there's 18 and a half hours of daylight. I got back to the car last night at midnight. The first sight I flew was six in the morning, so it was a real big day. I think I flew about 10 hours a lot. I was absolutely wrecked. <laughs> a really cool session last night I'm with Benny and Killian playing on the dunes. It was nice to fly some dunes after flying Tofton most of the day. Just to slide around a bit and have some fun. Killian picked up flaring real quick too. That was really cool to see. He was frothing by the end, end of the night. I pulled up into a little cute car park last night on the beach just north of Peter Sunday. Slept in the car, squeezed in there. And this little rocket, it's pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh dear. But yeah, today I'm he gonna head north soon up to past Tofton to the site, Ketrip, an inland site. I'll meet up with a guy Felix who I met on Instagram. Hey mate. And see if we can't do some flying. It looks pretty good, not real strong. 15, 20 knots. Should be a good day. I plan to get up there just after lunch. It's supposed to build throughout the morning. Although it feels pretty windy now. So I'm gonna get the drone up and uh, see what it looks like. I've just pulled up to a spot near Getrop. It's been up with Felix and his mates. There's a couple of guys flying, you can see them on the ridge. Wind looks like it's about 15 knots maybe. Looks like a pretty high site, maybe like 30 or 40 meters, so it could be a good one. There's a few vans here, a couple with some, um, some funky paragliding pitches on there, so. Let's go check it out, eh? Before we go check it out, I just want to put a couple of notes in here. So it would be this farm that we're parked at, Strandberg Gord, Beach Mountain Farm, Strandberg Gord, private property where we're parking. Uh, the farm owners, Paulie and Sarah, are super cool, and they're stoked to have paragliders flying here. They just ask if there's wildlife on the ridge and you're flying there. 
to stay away from them and don't shit in the car park. It's all organic. They sell leafy greens, veggies, eggs and lamb. They do tours of their farm if you're interested. I'll link their Instagram in the description. I just met this dude tearing around on his mow and I asked him if I could come uh, follow him so we're going to go for a little hoon together. <laughs> Been here since two o'clock, so we've been flying for four and a half hours, and I'm absolutely cooked. So I've come to fill the tank up, and I'm gonna head back down there for a sunset session. I reckon it's gonna be pretty good. <laughs> going for another one. Still got a few few hours of daylight left. Seven o'clock, another five hours. I was just having a chat with my new new German mate with the moustache. I think what's really cool about coming to a place like this, you meet really cool, interesting people. That love flying as much as I do, like Felix and Sarah and Bogdan. They're flying now, they haven't really stopped. I had a couple of breaks. It's just nice to hang out and talk shit with like minded people. Look at these guys. <laughs> Savages. <laughs>
pretty epic little afternoon session with those guys. Real fun little sight too. Real stoked for that. 20 past 10, the sun's just gone down. Found myself a little car park to pull it into for the night. You go and have a little rinse in the ocean. Tomorrow looks pretty light everywhere. Uh, we might get a little window for one spot. Let's see how we go. Fingers crossed, eh? So, I'm back at Tofton. It's been a pretty slow start to the morning. There's no wind, so there wasn't any mad rush to get up and out of bed. Doesn't look like there's much happening today, wind-wise. Might be a window here later in the afternoon. It's no winds, no winds, no wind, so. So it turns out the unflyable days in Denmark, because there's no wind, there's actually a little bit of wind and enough to fly. Here's Denmark. Had a pretty nice little rest day. Didn't go far from Tofton. We went across the fjord to check out Oddby. We hung out there for a few hours, but not much was happening. Crazy Germans. So I was gonna head north, make my way towards the ferry. I was just driving back past Tofton and I saw a couple of big wings flying, so I've come to check it out. They're definitely high enough for me to be able to fly the 18. I won't be able to throw it around too much. Be nice to go for a little cruise. I'm getting the ferry tomorrow at midday and it's blowing southeast tomorrow morning. It's gonna be quite fresh. So I reckon I'll be able to get a window. We'll see. I'll make my way up there tonight at some point and wake up for, a, for an early mission. Let's go see how tough them is this afternoon. 6.30 p.m. Feels like midday. Pretty fun little afternoon, unexpected session at Tofton. But, unfortunately, I think I've used up all my fun juice and I've just got nothing left. I'm cooked, you know, big few days of flying. This is what happens when you fly for three, four days. Pretty hard, you use up all your, all the good juices. <laughs> I need to let them build back up again. Jump in the car, head, uh, head north, and find somewhere to camp for the night and by the beach somewhere. So as I was leaving Tofton, I checked the wind. It's looking on a bit northeast, northeast. I checked on maps. Looked like there was a place up near Hamburg that would take it north northeast. Just driven past and rocked up at this massive, long, grassy soaring hill. It's about 35 meters. 
and it looks pretty spectacular. <laughs> it's quite the afternoon, it's 9.30. It's not very windy, but maybe it's enough. It's probably less than five knots on the ground. With a ridge this high, maybe it might work with the 18, let's see. Another Denmark surprise site. Amazing, I love it. Here, which is a shame because this would be so much fun. All this grass looks so soft. I just want to get my ass and legs into it. it. Looks amazing. I'll definitely be coming back here. It might nearly be enough. I'm gonna give it a red hot go. I think I'll be down the bottom pretty quick. Man, how good is this site? I, uh, Denmark, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Let's give it a shot, eh? <laughs> oh. No chance that's happening, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but I will get a short little sunset flight down this ridge. I'm not sure how far I'll make it. Car's just near that camper. Possibly make it halfway. I'm not too sure whether I should go for the road and have a slide on the gravel or I should slide my feet down the ridge as long as possible. I think best bang for buck is going to be fly the ridge to the bottom. We'll wing up here and give it a shot. Look at this sunset, okay? Amazing. Is quite devastating. This looks like an amazing site. I definitely want to come back. I think what's really cool about it too is how it curves down the ridge to the west. It'll take quite a few different directions. So it'll be one to come come back and check out for sure. Not on our east, I'll be keeping eye on it. Morning, it's 6.30. I slept like absolute shit last night. I thought I'd set the tent up so I could lay flat and have a good night's sleep. Got windy in the middle of the night and the thing was flapping around like mad. <laughs> but good news, it's windy. I have to be at the ferry at 11.30. I'm gonna try fly a site half an hour. The ferry is just a two hour drive from here. I think I should be able to squeeze in an hour. Something like it's going to be about 20, 25 knots. It's a real small dune, maybe two or three meters. So it might be a nice send off. Let's see how we go, eh? Hey? sure what it's called I'll have to um, put something in here I had a couple of stops on the way I just called in the supermarket and got a bunch of goodies for the girl a heap of cheese and some coffee because 
As much as I love Norway, Norway suck at food. I could run down the beach. It's only about 50 meters away. I've still got half a sandwich to eat and I'm running a bit behind schedule. I've got to be at the ferry in one hour and 10 minutes and I'd like to fly for a little bit. So I thought I would send Johnny down see what it looks like i don't know much about this site was looking on google maps and it looks like there's a bit of a ridge level johnny and see how it looks all right johnny he's not got this much wind it's devastating. looks like a really small sand dune too it's not really much of a sand dune kind of flat Mm. Oh, there's a little bit just here. Might be enough to play on, eh? Just don't know how windy it is. Doesn't really look like it's white capping. Wind lines on the water look good though. Good direction. Perfect direction. Yeah, probably worth a shot. I'm not too sure if this is the biggest section of sand dunes, but I don't have much time. Give it a shot. Get Johnny back down here. Hey little bro, how'd you go mate? Pretty good, eh? Whoa. Let's get out there. <laughs> 10, 20, 40 minutes. 40 minutes and 11% battery. Can we make this happen? Oh yeah! That guy. That guy. Where are we going? Come on baby! That's so close. So close. Just like that, it was all over. I made it back to the ferry with enough time. Uh, I even flew little Johnny for a little bit around the harbour. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching Legend. Hope you enjoyed it. This was my first trip of three to Denmark this summer. The next one, which will be the next video, uh, was probably my best flying trip yet. I flew a few more sites on the west coast and explored the east coast a bit. I bought myself a little van in Norway, so I had a bit more a bit more space and a bit more freedom to do what I wanted. Really excited to start working on this video. Could take a while. I'm back in Australia and flying season's just started. So I imagine the next few months are going to be pretty busy, but I'll do my best. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.